Hey guys, it is Typical Sloth, and today, Tom Holland is leaving the MCU. Yeah, Spider-Man is leaving the MCU, and Sony is getting the rights back to Spider-Man films. Which sucks, but they're not totally sure, but I think it's a deaf, it's not a deafen, it's like, it's like, let me explain it. It's not for sure, it hasn't been, the deal hasn't been settled yet, but they're, like, you know, he's leaving the MCU. Which is gonna be sad. And if you wanna find out why, watch me react to, uh, Rockstars. And I'm about to find out why. I keep hearing, these videos keep popping up on my channel, I'm like, oh, we did hit 100 subs. Thank you guys so much. Hundreds, I already made the 100 sub special, go watch it. Alright, let's get into it. Welcome back to New Rockstars, I'm Eric Voss, and Spider-Man's days in the Marvel Cinematic Universe may be sadly over. <laughs> Well, for now, at least, due to talks reportedly breaking down between Sony, the studio that owns the film rights of Spider-Man, and Disney's Marvel Studios, Kevin Feige's wonderful dream world that we all call the MCU. Since 2015, Marvel and Sony have shared the rights to Spider-Man, but that deal has, according to sources, ended. And that <laughs> might mean we no longer get to see Spider-Man no! appear in future MCU films, and that MCU characters no longer appear in future Spider-Man movies. Oh, yeah, question. again. They will take out the... Uh, Spider-Man characters, and they remove Spider-Man from the MCU, and Tony gets rights. What's that gonna do with Happy? Because Happy and Aunt May were having this thing. I think Happy was gonna, like, date Aunt May. So is Happy just gonna move on to his life and act like they never existed? I just wanna know what goes on with Happy. Okay, so I'm gonna explain what the hell happened here, yeah. and how this could dramatically change the future of superhero movies as we know them, and what this means for a Spider-Man 3 film, and why, maybe, just maybe, all might not be lost. Okay, so here's what went down. Back in 2015, Marvel and Sony announced a deal to co-produce Spider-Man after Sony, who had owned the rights to Spider-Man for decades, decided to shift directions from the two underperforming Amazing Spider-Man films with Andrew Garfield, directed by Mark Webb. The deal was, Marvel Studios and Sony share Spider-Man, so that Sony got to make Spider-Man movies with Marvel characters like Tony Stark, Nick Fury, That's MCU cool. events like The Blip, and that Marvel Studios got to feature Peter Parker in their big crossover events, Civil War, Infinity War, and War, and in all five of these movies, Marvel head Kevin Feige was the studio connected tissue, keeping the tonality and interconnectivity in balance, as all things should be. Now, the plan was to extend this sharing deal by two more films, presumably. Yeah, my dogs are really Maybe awesome. another MCU crossover event. So what changed? Well, yeah. according to Deadline, during negotiations DJ! between Disney and Sony, Disney asked for the next Spider-Man movie and other Sony properties that Disney wanted to co-distribute that the studios co-finance them 50-50. And that would mean the studios would also split the profits from these films right down the middle. Essentially, Kevin Feige and the Disney Marvel team wanted more influence over Sony's properties and to reap more reward for that influence. We'll keep helping you, make Spidey, but you gotta pay up for it. I got new hats to buy. But Sony, according to sources, flat out refused that offer and talks broke down. Why? Well, Spider-Man Far From Home just became Sony's most profitable film of all time, crossing $1.1 billion at the box office. And due to general greed, you can imagine them not wanting to share a dime of any future billions. And it looks as though Sony is betting that the recent success of the Spider-Man character has perhaps less to do with Feige's magic touch and the interconnectivity to the MCU. MCU, which in Far From Home, spoiler warning for that movie if you haven't seen it yet, yeah. took the form yeah. of some Iron Man murals, ex-Stark industry employees, Happy Hogan, Nick Fury, Maria Hill, and Skrulls. Instead, perhaps Sony is looking at elements like Mysterio, returning J. Jonah Jameson, and the groundwork that they've already done to introduce the Sinister Six, yeah. and thought to themselves, hmm, maybe we don't need the MCU connection to make a good Spider-Man 3 movie, one that we wouldn't have to share. Now, I take issue with that, but based on the tremendous success of a movie like Spider-Man Into the Spider-Verse, but, like, see, here's the thing. You can't set up the Sinister Six because that Scorpion and that Vulture and that Mysterio is in the MCU. And if you just reboot them and do a Sinister Six, it would kind of be awkward and confusing and just weird. I mean, I'd be confused and awkward, but I'd just roll with it. But I think fans would be mad. So, eh. Which won an Oscar, I'm not surprised Sony feels confident that their Spider-Man properties are robust enough to not need Uncle Figures to hold their hand. But I gotta say, this just 
feels like the wrong move. Fans have really enjoyed the collaboration between Sony and Marvel that has given us Tom Holland's Peter Parker. Now, I'm not sure how much Kevin Feige and the Marvel team were directly responsible for everything we liked about this version of the character. It's possible that John Watts and Tom Holland could produce another great Spider-Man sequel without Marvel's help, but over these past four years, Peter Parker has also forged chemistry with a number of MCU mainstays, Doctor Strange and the Guardians of the Galaxy, yeah. Falcon and Winter Soldier, Rhodey, Ant-Man, Captain Marvel, Nick Fury, well, his Skrull imposter, but uh, still Sam Jackson. Add that to future possible team-ups with characters like the Hulk, Thor, and future MCU additions like Blade, the Fantastic Four, Wolverine, and the other mutants. Maybe someday Daredevil, the Human Torch, and Deadpool. See, fans and Feige understand that it's the promise of Spider-Man merely existing in this universe. Hitchhiking on the back of Valkyrie's Pegasus. That makes them so exciting. It's awesome to know that there's a kid who can just accidentally swing into any bonkers situation Situation, react yeah. the way we would react, and no, just the right movie reference to take care of business. And Sony walking away from Marvel here takes that promise and it drowns it in symbiote goo. And worst of all, Sony's forcing Happy Hogan and Aunt May to break up. That totally sucks. Happy really needs this. His name does not reflect his emotional state. Now look, the MCU has plenty of beloved titles besides Spider-Man. And you could say they probably yeah. braced for this, explaining why Spider-Man wasn't included in Feige's Phase 4 lineup. But Spider-Man remains the crowned jewel. I guess we were lucky to get him in the MCU as long as we have, and we're grateful, but, you know, now it's, it's kind of like the awesome dude that we've been hanging out with is being told that he can't hang out with us anymore because yeah. his parents don't like our parents, and we know he was a better version of himself when he was with us! But guys, guys, this isn't over. Sources are saying mm -hmm. negotiations are still underway, and it is possible that this just got leaked to Deadline as a kind of power play by one of the sides to create public pressure to bring the other side back to the table, but here's what Sony being willing to walk away from Marvel tells us about their priorities for future Spider-Man films. I do not think this means that Tom Holland is automatically done playing Spider-Man. Like, if Spider-Man is in the title of a movie, folks, the actors and crew of that movie signed a deal with Sony, not Disney. So it is possible that the studio, the director, the other key players could put together a Sony-produced Spider-Man 3 that everyone's happy with, and it could happen. Possibly. It's also possible, it's possible that this increases the likelihood yeah, of a it. Venom sequel with Tom Holland Spider-Man. I don't know how I feel about that. I, whatever you feel about the Tom Hardy Venom, if this were to happen, it would require a great deal of time adjustments. Like, essentially, Sony would have to do with Tom Hardy's Venom what Marvel did with Thor in Ragnarok. Like, transform him from a moody loner to a funnier team player. Another option would be to build on the success of Into the Spider-Verse. Live-action Spider-People, like Miles Morales or Gwen Stacy. Like, if Sony is robbing us of Peter Parker hangouts with the Hulk or Deadpool, they gotta be counting on their ability to please fans with other beloved names from the comics. But really, the most likely option just seems to be a Spider-Man 3 that deals directly with the aftermath of the Far From Home post credit scene, and perhaps the Sinister Six that has to ignore any of the ties to the MCU from Homecoming or Far From Home. Like, Peter would have to off-screen sever all of his connections to Tony Stark, probably toss out Edith and all of his uniquely Stark tech, and then, like, web all over all the Spider-Man murals, and then force Aunt May to break up with Happy. But I guess if all the familiar faces return, plus J. Jonah Jameson and the Sinister Six, maybe a lot of fans wouldn't mind. I mean, we would, because we're older, and we remember how great things were in the past, but a dopey little eight-year-old who's gonna buy all the toys is gonna be like, oh, great, Spider-Man! Man, this is the only Spider-Man movie that ever existed. Essentially, Sony is like Thanos, telling Feige, I will shred your universe down to its last atom, and then, with the work you've done for me, create my own grateful universe that doesn't remember your old one. Yeah, no wonder Sony doesn't want Spider-Man and Thanos in the same sentence. Do you think that there's a future for Tom Holland Spider-Man outside the MCU. Hit me up down in the comments. This is a hard time for us, but we're here for each other, right? Follow me on Instagram and Twitter at EAVOS. Subscribe to New Rockstars for more Marvel updates. If something changes about the situation, we will inform you and break it down for you. Thank you for joining me, and I just don't want to be there when Happy gets dumped. I guess he's just going to be alone with Tony's claw robot. But... That's not the worst way to spend a Friday night. So you heard it there. We don't know if Tom Holland is leaving, and we don't know if he's quitting. But what he was saying is, honestly, I don't believe if Sony did take the rights of Spider-Man, I think they would just reboot him again. But, like, not, like, the origin. I feel like they would do, like, the Venom movie, the second Venom movie, but they would add Spider-Man and go on from there, like, make his first movie and everything without the origin, kind of like Marvel did. But, um, I don't know. And I doubt Tom Holland, I don't know. I really don't know of the deals, but, um, yeah, I don't know. 
If Tom Holland does leave, I will be sad. I do want to see more of him in the MCU. I really do. I just don't want two movies from him. I want like three. I want like three or four, and I want him to be in other MCU movies like Iron Man did. But you know, I mean, who's gonna carry the MCU? Captain America's gone. Iron Man's gone. Black Widow's gone. Hawk Hawkeye's probably not gonna be in future films. Like, who is a big main hero that could carry the MCU? I'm Black Panther, maybe. I don't know. They better not do Captain Marvel. I'll tell you that right now. Captain Marvel's trash. But, I don't know. If Sony does take back the rights to Spider-Man movies, I want Tom Holland out of here. Let me tell you why. And I want them to finish the Amazing Spider-Man series. I thought Andrew Garfield was good. And sometimes I feel like they should finish Spider-Man 4 with Tobey Maguire. But I doubt Tom McGuire wants to return to that. I've seen his post. I've seen him. And he's not interested in that. I don't think Andrew is either. But I just really want them to finish the Andrew Garfield Spider-Man series. Because how Andrew got did was horrible. Andrew Garfield was supposed to be in Civil War. But then they... But then Tom Holland came in and said... Eh, eh, eh. And, uh, you know, took his place. Which I kind of feel bad how uh, Andrew Garfield got done wrong, but he said he was fine with it, but I doubt it, or I don't know, but yeah, but uh, yeah, go subscribe to Rockstar, that's his name, um, I think the video's done, I really hope Tom Holland doesn't leave, but if he does, I want Andrew Garfield to finish what he started, kind of like Tom McGuire, but Tom McGuire... Favorite Spider-Man still, but yeah. If you guys did enjoy the video, make sure to subscribe to the like button, and thank you for 100 subs. And I'll see you guys next time. Comment down below what other reactions you want me to do. Goodbye. Peace.